to song and dance at St. Joseph, the Waka Catholic Church in Kongemi, as Pope Francis made his way into the church, the people of Kongemi, who have been eagerly waiting for the Pope for the last two days, could not hide their joy as they jumped in cheers. To the Pope, his visit to the church was very special, as the needy and poor hold a special place in his heart. Giving us this unique opportunity to see you close to us, to touch you, to see you smile, as you always do to all. I feel very much at home sharing these moments with my brothers and sisters, who, and I'm not ashamed to say this, have a special place in my life and my decisions. Pamela Akwende, a representative from the slums, said that the Pope's visit is giving hope to Kangami residents who are often forgotten. Pamela says the government has failed to provide cheaper housing, adequate schools and security. It is my humble request to you to urge our government to improve service provision in, in informal settlement and address the security of tenor economically, healthy, education and security. The church also raised concern about powerful private developers grabbing school playgrounds in the informal settlement, a concern that caught the attention of the Pope who criticized faceless land grabbers who attempt to get the playgrounds of children's schools. very big problem we have is the grabbing of land. The land of schools, clinics, is taken by very powerful people. A familias enteras a pagar alquileres abusivos. I am also aware of the serious problem posed by faceless private developers who hoard areas of land and even attempt to appropriate the playgrounds of your children's schools. Pope Francis says problems in informal settlement are being propagated by selfish individuals. He denounced the injustices people in the informal settlement suffer and urged slum dwellers to uphold the values they hold, saying they're not subject to stock exchange as they are values that are priceless. In this regard, I would propose a renewed attention to the idea of a respectful urban integration as opposed to elimination, paternalism, indifference or mere containment. The social and environmental debt owed to the poor of cities can be paid by respecting their sacred right to the three L's, land, lodging, labor. Pope Francis pressed his call for adequate and dignified housing for societies most marginalized. He says denying families with clean water while at the same time profiting from the same is a great injustice. The Pope also calls for renewed attention to slum challenges by ensuring provision of basic needs. Dear neighbors, dear brothers, dear sisters, let us together pray, work and commit ourselves to ensuring that every family has dignified housing, access to drinking water, a toilet, reliable sources of energy for lighting, cooking and improving their homes. During his visit in Kongemi, the Pope paid tribute to women who struggle to fight heroically to save the sons and daughters from joining wrong ventures. The Holy Father also took a moment to walk freely among the congregation while taking photos. The congregation was also happy to see the Pope wear one of the robes they tailored for him. For the people of Kangemi Church, this will be a day they will live to remember.